The Seattle Police Department has has reclaimed uh, a wake up Nikki. So the Seattle Police Department. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, 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 ah. Put it down. Put it down. The Seattle Police Department chopped down Chaz today. Stay tuned. Okay, before I get into this video, you guys got to check out and pick up at least one of these solar power cells. It's portable, it's durable, and it's reliable. And if you don't have a wall outlet to charge it up, you can always throw it out in the sun and let the sun do the charging for you. It's got two outlets so you can power two devices at once. It keeps a charge for a long time and it's got a cool flashlight that stays on forever. My link with your discount code is in the description below. Let's go. Let's go. Yep. Yep. Oh, there goes the mace. Okay. We don't want mace. Stop. All right. Police dispersed protesters in Seattle's Capitol Hill occupied protest, a.k.a. the Chaz area, and arrested at least 31 people today after an emergency order by Mayor Jenny Durkin. Durkin issued an executive order on Tuesday in response to, quote, reported life, safety, public health and property issues in and around the East Precinct and Cal Anderson Park area, which protesters have occupied for the past couple weeks, and we've been hearing about it nonstop, which has been marred by a series of shootings lately. Shootings that reportedly happened at the hands of CHOP security forces. So the apparent irony is that CHOP was shut down by the cops for the very reason CHOP was started, the police abuse of power. Not that CHOP security called themselves police, but the reported actions of CHOP security definitely couldn't be distinguished sometimes from the actions of the very law enforcement departments they were protesting against. The Seattle Police Department tweeted, Due to ongoing violence and public safety issues in the East Precinct Cal Anderson Park area, Mayor Jenny Durkin has issued an executive order to vacate the area. Seattle police will be in the area this morning enforcing the mayor's order. Police tweeted that anyone who remains in the area or returns to it will be subject to arrest. The 31 arrests were for failure to disperse, obstruction, assault, and unlawful weapon possession, according to the police. Seattle Police Chief Carmen Best said in a statement that the move comes after violence in the zone. She said, as I've said, and I will say again, I support peaceful demonstrations. Black Lives Matter and I too want to help propel this movement toward meaningful change in our community. But enough is enough. So either Chief Best is unaware of the real intentions of BLM or she's laying cover for him, like most organizations in this country. We stand at a critical point in history. Give black people their rights or we will burn this country to ashes. Or we will burn this country to ashes. As everybody's painfully aware, thousands of protesters have occupied the four to six block area known as CHOP or CHAZ since early June in an effort to demand police reform following the intentionally well-publicized alleged police killing of George Floyd. But apparently there have been five shootings in the area in the past two weeks, including two fatal ones, ironically undermining its original motivation. Seattle community leader Andre Taylor said, It is over because of the violence. I've told people here, don't be focused on the location. CHOP is not a location. It's an idea. Dustin Akers, who lives in an apartment complex in the heart of the CHOP area, took several videos of police clearing the zone around 5 a.m. today. Akers said, Living in this area has been incredibly unstable and violent around the clock for the past two weeks. He said it started out well-intentioned and then quickly took a turn for the worse. The occupied area is now empty with tents and supplies thrown everywhere. He also shared an excerpt that his apartment complex, Packard Building Apartments, owned by Equity Residential, had given to residents on June 30th. The complex wrote, Since the occupation of the streets surrounding our building, tenants have been subject to violence, threats, vandalism, noise, lewd conduct, public defecation, daily fights, and limited access to the building. 
Attorney General Bill Barr said the CHOP area had become a, quote, haven for violent crime and praised the work of Chief Best. He said in a statement, as Chief Best made clear throughout the process, there is a fundamental distinction between discussion of substantive issues, including addressing distrust of law enforcement by many in the African-American community and violent defiance of the law. Leave your thoughts about this for the world, the Google Thought Police, and the people of CHOP and Chaz in the comments section below. Okay, before you go anywhere, a lot of people have asked me if they can get a shirt from the store with the design on the back. Let me show you real quick what you can do within the store as far as self-editing your own design that you can put on any shirt, hoodie, mug, phone case, whatever. Pick out any design from the store, then select any item. And guys, there are hundreds of items to choose from. Hats, beanies, bags, buttons, men's items, women's items, stuff for kids, and even pets. I'll just select this shirt right here. You can change the item color to whatever you want. Hit this little pencil editing tool right here and then click on customize. You can enlarge, shrink, or reposition the design on any item. You can also click over here to the left on designs and add any design you want. Matter of fact, you can put as many designs as you want on the front or on the back of the shirt. Or you can click on text and add some customized lettering. With the lettering, you can change the font, change the font color, increase the size, and you can even bend the text. And check this out. If you want a design or lettering on the back or on the sides, just click on where you want your design or text, click on the design or text tool, or you can even upload your own design. It only increases the price of the item a couple bucks. And you can do this on any item that you select. The store link is in the description and in the pinned comment. Your purchase gets you a kick-ass design and supports the channel while it helps me create more content. Leave your thoughts about this video for the world and the Google Thought Police in the comments section below.